Good morning and welcome to Bitcoin Smart Money. It's August 30th, 2017. Today we're going to talk about Bitcoin, NEO, and look at ETH Classic just from a uh, potential dice roll play uh, due to the consolidation in price and making higher lows. But let's start off with Bitcoin. And what I'm showing you here on this chart is from August uh, until today. And you can see just we've got a nice consistent uptrend uh, making higher lows. We've got the fake out over here on August 21st. Um, and you know, last night we've had, we had, yesterday we had a nice move up and some consolidation in price. What we're looking at are eight hour bars. So we have three of these in a day. And, and the move from, from August 1st, you know, from you know, 2800 to, to 4559, uh, 45, it's just been a tremendous move. Uh, but one of the things that you know we talk about is on the move up, it, are people buying it? And then on the moves sideways or the moves down, are people selling it? We've only got really two instances over the past month where that's happened, here on the 15th and then here on the 21st. And one of the keys to note is on the 15th, you can see, you know, they, they sold it pretty good. Uh, however, it never, you know, took out any of serious price action. You had some good support here from previous days. We were still in an uptrend. And, you know, there's going to be profit taking and there's going to be some uh, big sales along the way. And there's some FUD that goes along with everything. So, you know, strong hands and looking at charts from a longer time frame like the 480 uh, really helps us. In, in staying in the trade long considering Bitcoin on the 480 chart has been long for over two months now. Uh, so th that's really important to note and on the move on the 29th uh, you know we've had we had a move from was it here 4352 to 4640 in an eight hour window and that was on really good volume and you can see here these past a uh, few bars, sideways action, less people selling. Uh, you've got RSI, you know, settling out a little bit. Anytime RSI goes over 80, uh, it means things are overbought. So I can see Bitcoin cons consolidating in price here at the 4,500 level, uh, dipping down to about 4,450 uh, to 4,350 before it makes its ne next leg up. And I fully expect us to see the 5,000 range here after Labor Day. So I, I think things look really bullish for Bitcoin. We're in an uptrend. Our 200-day moving average uh, is now at 37.25. So we've got tremendous support. Uh, people should be in tremendous profit here considering how long we've been in this bull run. Uh, so I really like what I see with Bitcoin. So let's look at the next chart, which we've been talking about since June. And that's going to be NEO. And, you know, NEO really interests me uh, as well from uh, more buying opportunities at this point. It's taken a, quite a hit since, uh, it, you know, it went it touched 57. Uh, but over the past few days, there's a lot of FUD around this coin uh, coming from Chinese regular, regulators saying that they may or they're looking into ICO ban or regulation. And that's causing a lot of people that are unaware of, you know, how the Chinese government works and not recalling back in 2013 when, you know, China talked about banning Bitcoin and be Bitcoin being banned and, you know, all this stuff. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things that go on with a country like China. And, you know, when you have weak hands that are selling this and, you know, it, that move here from... 57, you know, down to you know, 28, it touched, uh, but touched that moving average, bought right back up. Uh, you can see not as many people willing to sell it. Uh, you did have that big sell when the, when the news came out about the Chinese regulations. And one of the things that I think are going into that for the Western world is uh, something called the Ghost Month. Uh, in, in Asia, they have uh, something called Ghost Month, which, which happens from the 22nd of August to the 19th of September and you know there's a lot of traditions in the Eastern culture um, where you know traders in certain countries have uh, extreme caution when it comes to investing 
making trades, uh, and it's one of the one of the worst months for trading. Uh, so if you look at things from, um, I'm not really into superstitions or uh, things like I said that like that, but I look at opportunities because of superstitions or because of uh, what's going on in, in certain markets. And you can see here, Neo's built a nice base. You know, at 32, we're still an extreme profit from when we first started talking about this coin at, at four dollars uh, per coin. And right now, our RSI on the on the eight-hour uh, bars are showing us that we're extremely oversold. Uh, we're registering a two. Anything below 20 tells us that we're starting to become oversold. Uh, so you can see the volume here shrinking on the sell-off. So I expect maybe us to come down a little bit more, maybe even touch this, you know, 27, 28 potentially, uh, and then make our move back into the 40s. Uh, we should see that. But it might take a few days because, you know, Asia does have a, a large control of crypto uh, community. And, you know, one of the reasons why I like to hold NEO, uh, being one of the earlier adopters of it, is just the fact that we get that gas. Uh, you know, it's seventeen dollars per gas, and I wanted to show you guys. You know, if you were to have five hundred uh, neos, how much you would get? get? You know, you get sixty gas per year. Uh, the theory calculation is eighty. So even if if we were going to get, say, you know, seventy gas a year, and what was was it at? Was that seventeen fifty? You know, that's a, over twelve hundred dollars in, in dividends that you're going to get from a coin that's got positive momentum. There's a lot of potential uh, going on with ICOs being built on top of it. You've got one or two news stories that are coming out. Yeah, they should cause some concern if you've put you know, the majority of your portfolio into something. But that's why we preach diversification, having it as one of our larger positions uh, from an earlier you know, trades back in June and July. Everything's okay. Neo gas dividend helps take away some of the pain from uh, the move down from 55. However, even here at 32, we've got some consolidation in price. You know, we've been trading, in, you know, downward movement, of course, but it hasn't it hasn't really gotten you know rocked like it did on the move up. So that we we actually took an elevator up and now we're taking an escalator down. And a lot of markets we do it the other way around. So still really like what I see in in. Uh, Neo. The last one I want to talk about is uh, ETH Classic, and you know, not something I really like long term. But you know, looking for potential trades uh, where I see you could you you know, put something out there, have a nice hard stop in place, and, and then you know let the position go. I see ETH Classic as being that. It's just had a tremendous sell off from let's say you know our short came in at the at the 60 range. You know, it's been as high as, uh, you know, 77 almost. We're trading down today at 34. Uh, so what I see here is I see from August 12th to about the 21st, we had a nice little cup pattern being built. And we had consolidation in price, not a lot of move. Some more consolidation in price here. At, and at 34, we're showing nicely oversold uh, we're below the 20 factor on the RSI not a lot of volume being traded on it the trend you know which is one thing I try not to go against a lot is telling me that this is short but that is because it's made such a strong 50 percent move down uh, but I do like to see the higher lows which I'm seeing here and it looks like it could be something where you you, you know you put a stab in at, at 34 where we're seeing the price here. I'm looking at it on Polonex. Um, you can trade it on a few different exchanges. I just pulled up Polonex because there's a lot of data uh, on the chart. But like I said, volume shrinking. Nice sideways move. Uh, you know, my stop out would be at 31, so I'd give it you know from 34 to 31 on the down move. Uh, but there's a lot more potential for it to go. You know, possibly up to this 44, 45, 46 level, based on all indicators. So I just wanted to talk about that. We'll we'll see how things transpire here going into Labor Day. But those are just some of my notes here uh, for the end of August. I'm Mark Dukas, and thanks for watching Bitcoin Smart Money.